But let's be honest. I'm already ready to talk baseball. Because I don't think there was a game better than this. I think there was moments better than this. But let's just do the baseball right now, BBD, because we... There was so much good baseball, and how the night wrapped up yesterday was insane. We the Yankees win. We're recording talking Yanks. We're I'm getting some. We're getting stuff ready for Wake and Jake. There's we watched two walk offs. Uh, the Angels, who I think you're going to hear more about that later, and then what was the other walk? Diamondbacks, Diamondbacks. and then Tatis hits a, a a grand slam. We'll do the whole thing. Let's get the games. Let's get through it a little bit. All right. Let's start. We'll do it. Should we go east to west? That's what we normally do on Talking Baseball. Laid it out that way. That's how I've laid it out. Yeah, I like that. The New York Mets beat up on the Miami Marlins 11 to 4 yesterday. I mentioned two home run games. How about Pete Alonso and Robinson Cano? Two stars of the game. Robbie Cano, Yankee for a long time, one of the best second basemen ever. And Pete Alonso, the guy who broke the rookie home run record, plays in New York. Both of them. Two home runs. They beat the Marlins. Next, Atlanta, Washington. Atlanta walks it off. Former number one pick, total hot boy and friend of the program, Dansby Swansong. Swanson, Vanderbilt, go doors. He walks it off with a home run in a four-run ninth for the Braves. Braves, a great baseball franchise. Num- former number one pick, walk off. Bang. Boston, New York. Boston stinks. Yankees win 6-3. Rain delay. Luke. Luke Voigt. King Louis V. Two home runs. Cool story. First baseman for the New York Yankees. Get excited about that. Toronto, Baltimore. If you're not excited, I get it. That was a little cowherdy. If you're not excited, I get it. It turned into Seinfeld. 7-2 win for the Baby Jays. Ryu has a really good game. And if the Blue Jays are going to start doing anything, they need Ryu to start rolling. And he, he kind of has. I think he's got a couple good starts in a row now. Biggio and Grichik, one and a half friends of the program, uh, have nice days. In the Central, we play a doubleheader. The Cardinals are going to play a lot of doubleheaders. <laughs> Get used to this. Uh, and they almost took both games. Uh, Quang Young Kim, your guy, starts off the first game. Gallegos actually gets the win. Hendricks with the loss. Is what it is. Uh, Cardinals win that one. BBD, this is where it gets fun. The Cardinals look like they were going to win both halves of this doubleheader, and I started making jokes like, doubleheader Cardinals. Maybe they just get really good at this, and they win the Central. That'd be pretty funny. Going to get some practice. Yeah, they're going to be good at it, right? This game was a bullpen game. Four-run sixth by the Cubs, so that's a four-run eighth. David Bodie with a pinch-hit three-run homer. To give them the lead. Like, that's awesome baseball in Wrigley. um, Brad Miller with a two-homer day, BBD, for the Cardinals. How about that? I was just going to make you hear more about him later. Brad Miller. Max Schrock with his first Major League home run. We got deep cuts, too. I'm starting to get feisty back here. Detroit at... The White Sox, White Sox win 7-2. to Matt Boyd stinks. That's a, that's might become a John Boy Media shirt because that's been said a lot around here the past couple weeks. Tim Anderson won the batting title. Shortstop. Needs to be a star of star in this game. He hits two home runs. Luis Robert, top prospect, gets the bag before he even plays. He hits two home runs in this game. Minnesota at Kansas City, 4-1. Minnesota wins. Nelson Cruz, two home runs. Guy hit the most home runs in baseball last decade. He's still doing it at 40. He's a monster. Show off these guys, baseball. In the West. All right, I'm going to stop yelling like that. Colorado, Houston. Houston wins 2-1. That's tough. Both of those teams... Uh, we're, Colorado was trying to stop a losing streak Houston was trying to keep it going Kyle Freeland gives up two in the first Correa RBI double He's been really good for them And that's all Houston gets And that's how they win Belak, the rookie for Houston Another good start for him They've got a lot of young pitching Houston, it's like these well-young I was going to say well-run franchises 
analytically run franchises. Analytically are, driven. Yeah, are, are figuring out the pitching thing a little better than some of the other teams. Padres at Texas. We're going to talk a lot of this. We're going to talk a lot of this. Coach O makes an appearance. 11-4 Padres. Tatis is the story of the sports world, which is good and bad. I don't know how much of my Twitter feed is baseball at this point, but the later NBA games weren't great. Like, they were good. I mean, Philly Sixers, blah, blah, blah. This is the story. An an unwritten rules 3-0 home run, grand slam by the MLB home run leader, top prospect, star of the game. Passing, passing. You got that? Passing. Just did a huge ESPN piece on, you know, he is the future of baseball. It's a 3 0 homer, his second homer of the game. And everyone's talking about, should you sling 3 0? Yes. Like, get over it. If you're going to homer, absolutely. Exactly. The Jace Tingler. And Woodward stuff, I mean, it's just so ridiculous. I, You know, young players should appreciate signs. Well, a good manager shouldn't give the take sign on 3-0 in a seven-run game. Who cares? I, Mark Carrig uh, with The Athletic just had a – there's a lot of good tweets out there about all this. Mark Carrig just had one that was like, uh, oh, but if he grounded out and he didn't run it out to first, you wouldn't be saying that it's a blowout game. Like, there's, there's so many different moving parts of it that are just stupid. Be happy for Tatis, and I think that is the good news. Like, if you go check the internet right now, the only two guys that were against this were Woodward and Jace Tingler. The whole internet in the future of baseball is in good hands, but uh, Padres win 11-4. Tatis, two home runs. I wrote down Jay Cronenworth. He's playing well. How about that? Nice um, season. And then we end with two walk-offs. The D-backs walk it off. We were watching this game late night in the office. The freight train, David Peralta. You'll hear that so much on their broadcast. He hits the walk-off off of Diekman. They beat the A's. That's good for them. The D-backs are kind of going. Let's see if they can get that series. And then the Angels. Whoo! Thank God they walk it off. Tommy LaStella. Might hear about him later. And the other West Coast game. Didn't even put it down because I remember it. Dodgers versus Mariners, great game, 11-9 final, I believe. The Seeger brothers, two brothers playing together for the first time. Both homer in the same game. The Seegers, Kyle Seeger, who we talked about, very underrated career. Corey Seeger kind of became underrated, and now he's doing it again. Evan White with two home runs in that game. I... Trying to see who else I missed. An incredible slate of baseball yesterday. An incredible slate of baseball yesterday. And, of course, we're here talking about Tatis swinging at a 3-0 pitch in a seven-run game. So that's baseball. Uh, Got it. BBD, what did I miss? What what needs to be discussed? Hmm. Just see your brother's homer in same game. Really cool. You said it. It's cool. It is cool. That should be out there more. Like, the other note I have, I'll get to later. Okay. Other note he has, he will get to later. Nine guys with two home runs. There's got to be people, I don't know if they're tweeting them out or something, but people had to have DraftKings lineups that went insane. I mean, you could go around the horn pretty easily with guys that had crazy homer days. Especially, Probably a full lineup you could put together. Especially Brad Miller. Might not have a catcher. I don't think there was a catcher. Who cares? Um, tweet at me. Your DraftKings line. You don't have to do that. I'm over it. 